Hey, doing it's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're going over today is the release of the 2021 Chevy Tahoe Police Package and SSV Package that GM released on the 12th of this month. What we're going to be going over is not necessarily any of the specs or anything like that. We're just going to be talking about how it looks from an upfitter's point. So, uh, the first part in the press release they talk about uh, behind the second row seat, they're looking at 70.3 70 cubic feet of cargo volume. Uh, behind the second row seat, which is 18.3 cubic feet more than the next largest pursuit rated SUV competitor. Uh, we assume that they would be talking about the Ford Utility, which is a completely different vehicle. So we know that the Tahoe is a larger truck style chassis um, and we would expect more room in the back. Um, what our biggest concerns would be going into that would be how that rear profile is done. So is the floor going to be flat metal like it's been traditionally? Is it going to be raised up and have a bunch of plastic behind there such as the other vehicles do? Like the, the Expedition has where the third row seat was kind of recessed so they put all the plastic in there. The Utility has to put a replacement floor and the Durango has all that other plastic back there. Um, that would be the biggest question is what are they doing with that? We know the retail Tahoes for 15 to 20. Um, had a raised part that just kind of sat on the flat floor to make the back level from the Tahoe or in the back of the Tahoe, which didn't come in the police vehicle. It was just flat, which made it easier for mounting um, electronics compartments, equipment, um, boxes, storage units, whatever you're putting back there, you weren't having to worry about how that unit was bolted down. It just went through the floor, it was simple and easy. Um, depending on what they do with the new rear independent end and how they integrated the third row seat into it is going to determine how the police vehicle comes out. So we don't know what the back of that floor is going to look like and if it's just going to be flat or it's going to require any type of uh, mounting platform in order to put any equipment back there safely. So one of the next things we pull out is unlike, unlike pursuit rated SUV competitors, the Tahoe offers an available rear camera mirror to provide wide, less obstructed view behind the vehicle compared to a traditional rear view mirror. Um, as long as that's an, an optional choice because some, some camera companies do uh, replace the mirror for the DVR, it's not very popular, but that is something that's there. Um, the next Point, they say the new 2021 Tahoe police vehicles is standard keyless entry and push button start ignition, which allow officers to leave the keys on their belts for a simpler and quicker use. Uh, the Durang or the Chargers had this for a long time. It was always kind of a um, uh, not necessarily a selling point to some vehicle, but it was difficult to add uh, ignition override systems to it. Uh, Technology has come a long way to see that, so that has become a, uh, a kind of a standard option for a lot of people. So uh, Tremco was a plug-and-play option. Intermotive has some options now also for that, but that's just going to be a, uh, an issue going through to some of the some of the systems that look for that key to be in there. So we don't know how that's going to react. Uh, that would be a question until you get into the electrical system and see what's required of it. Um, the next, I guess, the biggest thing for upfitters, we personally don't use those upfitter harnesses unless necessary because we have concerns of any interference that it may cause um, with any equipment, with RF or anything like that. And if there is an issue um, of tracing those wires out um, and making sure that they're not interfering or causing any issues um, for the time that it takes us to run a couple wires through the firewall for uh, multiplex electrical systems such as Blueprint. Um, this doesn't necessarily help us, but some upfitters rely on these circuits to um, build the vehicle. So that's a very uh, nice new feature that they've added to it. Um, the nice thing that also is the repurposing of the steering wheel button, which has been a very popular thing with the uh, Ford platform of having control over those. So now that Chevy's and have jumped on the bandwagon with that is a, uh, a nice feature to be able to program. Hopefully it'll be mappable through the OBD2 port and your uh, system can read it and not have to do any splicing at all, which would be a very nice feature. The next part was the electrical system is powered with an upgraded dual battery system with emergency equipment isolation to meet the unique needs of police. Um, 
if you had a police package or SSB package Tahoe since 15, you know that the battery isolation system has been a complete nightmare. Um, that solenoid that they put in there is definitely not rated for that. They've done a couple changes to replace it uh, and make it better. The new systems seem to be better, but some people are still having issues with uh, overcharging batteries and um, that unit failing, and then they're losing all the equipment without being able to tell what's what. Hopefully they stick with the new relay system that they've put into the vehicles that seem to be working out a lot better than the uh, original ones did. Um, we still have some people complaining about having battery failure on that one because it seems to be overcharging or not necessarily charging well and then they're having equipment issues because that battery is not charging. Um, that's the biggest concern that we would have with it. It's a great concept of having that done from the factory. So there were some pictures posted from the exterior. The grill is pretty much the same as the Silverado 1500. You're still going to be at the point where you're going to be adding a push bumper or some small lights. The grill has smaller louvers, so you're not going to be putting any style of light sticks or anything like that behind it that is popular with some people. Um, there isn't any discussion about the headlight flasher. Um, plug and play for that. Uh, we would hope that they would continue with that because that is a very nice feature along with flashing of the brake lights um, for that. Um, the mirrors have been a problem on the Silverados with getting any type of under mirror light on it. Uh, you can see the pictures that they posted. Uh, it's got the light mounted on the front, which wasn't too big of an issue to get on. And then when you look at the pictures of the interior, um, they have a fairly low profile console in it, um, which could be, which which is going to be an issue because all the rest of the controls are look fairly low in that vehicle so you're not necessarily going to be having um, that deep console that you were used to with the previous model Tahoe where uh, self-contained equipment was no problem really with it. Um, some of the other departments that went with lower profile consoles as you can see like in this picture where they're trying to keep the MDT low um, you're more than likely going to be able to maybe get one full-size radio in there if you're lucky but all the controls and stuff like that are definitely lower than the existing vehicle and you're not going to be getting a very high console in it we're going to be probably limited on what kinds of console options you get but i would assume that there's going to be some type of solution for it um, some of the manufacturers have been getting on the train of keeping that console as low as possible because the mdts are staying up more and they the officers are complaining about them being in their line of sight. The other big changes that we're unsure of how it's going to work out is they've removed the um, the shifter, which has been a popular option for the Tahoe over some of the other SUV platforms. Um, they've gone to a push button style um, system that Chevy seems to think that the officers are going to like. But as we know, everybody's going to complain about it because it's changed. So looking at some pictures of the rear cargo area, it looks like the taillights may not be conducive to putting any types of hideaways or anything else like that. It ain't no more different than the existing Tahoes were. Um, the floor trim panel that's back there looks to be fairly large, which means that any cabinetry or anything like that is going to be pushed farther back into the vehicle. And it has a large removable door, so we don't know how all that is going to work out. Um, when it comes time to take that out or um, how you're going to mount any equipment down there so there may be some type of platform. If that rear trim panel is anything like the Expedition style, there's a big wiring harness that runs underneath it and that panel sits quite a few inches above that so you're losing that headspace in there from where you normally would have it. So looking at some interior pictures, looking at from like the second row seat looking back, um, that third row seat has more of the Expedition style mounting where it's the front is raised up off the floor. Um, not like the traditional third row seat of the other Tahoes where the third row seat just kind of clipped in um, to some floor mounts. These look like they're um, more raised up. So we're going to guess that between where the third row seat is and where the front of the floor is is probably six or so inches difference in height, meaning that when we get to this point that they're probably just going to put some type of 
wood or cheap plastic in there that has no structure to it that's going to require that to be removed um, and replaced with a, uh, a secure mounting platform in order to safely mount any type of cabinetry back there. Um, the rear windows look like they've gotten smaller on the passenger side um, to where the previous models you always had the issue that you really couldn't get too many uh, light heads back there. Thanks for checking out the video today. We're going to be monitoring this closely and uh, hope to get some more information as this goes on.